Who doesn't love dinosaurs? They're captivating to the imagination, grand in the mind's eye in every way, terrifying beyond explanation, and they played a vital role in our planet long before we did. Anyone that tells you they don't, or have never liked dinosaurs, is a liar. And we're here to present to ye faithful dino lovers a list of 18 incredible facts about dinosaurs. Number 18, close call. We'll just start this thing off by telling you that the time that separates us from the frightening and intimidating Tyrannosaurus Rex is shorter than the time separating the Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Stegosaurus. That's right, Stegosauruses had already been extinct for about 80 million years before the T-Rex even made its appearance in the world. The amount of time that's passed since the T-Rex went extinct is only 65 million years, making us 15 million years closer to the terrifying predators than its dinosaur friends. Can you imagine if we somehow overlapped? Oh, how much different life would be. Number 17, pest problem. Did you happen to know that dinosaurs had to deal with giant bothersome fleas much like the animals of today? The only difference is that the ones they had to put up with were much larger than the average flea now and had a beak much like a syringe used at a doctor's office. Ugh. Pseudopulex Jurassicus and Pseudopulex Magnus are examples of these nasty buggers. They're unusually long and it's thought that they use their length not for jumping, but for holding on to the rough, scaly surface of a dinosaur. Sounds like a big problem we're sure animals today are glad they don't have to deal with. Number 16, extinction information. Roughly 66 million years ago, a giant asteroid entered Earth's atmosphere and barreled towards the surface and caused or helped cause the extinction of the dinosaurs. That's the information most know. The info you probably didn't is this. The asteroid is thought to have been between 6.2 and 9.3 miles wide and fell on the Yucatan Peninsula, which is backed by a 112 mile wide crater found in the Gulf of Mexico in the 1990s. In 2016, scientists drilled into the Chicxulub Peak Ring and noticed an almost total absence of gypsum, signaling that it was vaporized and ejected into the atmosphere like an aerosol causing long-term effects and aiding in the extinction. It's estimated that 75% of all species were made extinct by the event, and it appears that the effects were seen on all continents at the same time. It's said that the energy released by the impact would have been around 100 teratons, or about a billion times as much energy produced by the bombs dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. It's too bad Bruce Willis wasn't around at that time to blow that bad boy up. Number 15, Dino Birds. Birds are now known to be the only surviving relatives of the theropod dinosaurs. Birds were once classified in a separate class than the theropods, but more recently, contemporary paleontologists have stated that for a group to be natural, all descendants of the group must be included. Therefore, birds are considered dinosaurs. They now belong in the subgroup Maniraptora, meaning that dinosaurs never truly entirely went extinct. Number 14, Super Spikes. A thagomizer is believed to have been used as a defensive weapon against predators by stegosaurid dinosaurs. What is a thagomizer? It's the arrangement of four to ten different spikes that are found on the ends of the tails of the stegosaurid dinosaurs. They almost resemble a baseball bat that has had nails driven through it, kind of like Steve's in Stranger Things. My favorite. The name thagomizer was coined in 1982 by the cartoonist Gary Larson, and it has been informally adopted by researchers and scientists. It's believed that the Stegosaurus and the Kentrosaurus Aethiopicus could maneuver their rear ends efficiently and bring the Thagomizer all the way to their sides, striking foes next to them. It's not entirely known whether the weapons were just that, weapons, or some form of display to attract a mate, but we're gonna guess the former because it sounds dope. Number 13, Sonic Surprise. If you've ever seen a dinosaur, more specifically a sauropod, aka long neck, and thought that its tail looks similar to a whip, that's because they kind of were. Recent computer models analyzed similarities between bullwhips and sauropod tails and found that when moved specific ways, the sauropod tail may have been able to break the sound barrier. It's believed that the dinosaurs would have used this magnificent skill to ward off predators, or possibly as a form of display to attract the opposite sex. Whatever they would have used it for, it's impressive, as an object needs to exceed over 700 miles per hour to cause a sonic boom. Can you imagine getting sentenced to 10 lashes by a stegosaurus? Nice knowing you. Number 12, big but no blue whale. Dinosaurs were big, well some of them at least, but they wouldn't have been any match for the blue whale, which is the largest animal known to have ever lived. Sauropods come close, with a length that could reach 110 feet, like that of the longest blue whale ever recorded. <sighs> but blue whales still take the cake in overall mass. The heaviest blue whales are thought to weigh in at around 181 tons. 
The next time you think about dinosaurs and their immense size, keep in mind that you're living your life every single day on the same planet with animals much bigger than they were. Number 11. Cosmoceratops The 15-horned cousin of the Triceratops has been found and is called the Cosmoceratops, which lived about 8 million years before its three-horned relative. They're slightly larger than modern black rhinoceroses at about 15 feet, and it's believed that it must have been completely cut off from other animals of closely related species, as it's so unique. With the 15 horns, it had the most ornate skull of any dinosaur, as of right now. Number 10. Inaccurate titling Did you know that a lot of the main dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park movies weren't even around in the Jurassic period? In fact, Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptor, Triceratops, and Gallimimus were all around in the Cretaceous period, after the Jurassic period had ended. Not only that, but they were around in the late Cretaceous period, around 40 million years after the Jurassic period. I'm shaking my head, Steven Spielberg. Shaking my head. Number 9. Dino Head Cage Speaking of movies, did you know that in 2007, actor Nicolas Cage ended up in a bidding war against the better actor Leonardo DiCaprio? What they were fighting over, you may ask? A dinosaur skull. A Tarbosaurus skull to be exact. Cage outbid DiCaprio and ended up purchasing the thing for $276,000. However, in the end, he had to return the giant noggin to Mongolian authorities, as it was found to be stolen. It's okay though, we're sure he'll be able to find more national treasures like it in the future. <laughs> okay, that was dumb. Number 8. Tiny T-Rex Who would have ever thought that the T-Rex was quite small in comparison to some of its dinosaur friends? In fact, the mighty Tyrannosaurus doesn't even make the top 15 list of largest dinosaurs. The average T-Rex stood approximately 15 to 20 feet tall, whereas number 15 on the list, the Camarasaurus, stood 60. Number 1 on the list, the Seismosaurus, stood a whopping 84 feet tall and was 150 feet long making the Tyrannosaurus Rex look like a child's plaything. Eh? Eh? Toy Story, anyone? Number 7. Whoops. Breaking news, the Brontosaurus never existed. I repeat, the Brontosaurus never existed. That's right, a paleontologist accidentally jumped the gun and named the fossil he received Brontosaurus, when in all actuality, it was the fossil of an Apatosaurus. Brontosaurus is now used as a synonym for Apatosaurus and means the same. A rivalry between two paleontologists caused this misstep and changed what we thought we knew about history up through the 1900s and on to today. Othniel Charles Marsh was the man who mistakenly named a dinosaur in the 1980s and deceived us all for over a century. Thanks a lot, bro. Number 6. Nigrosaurus This goofy looking dinosaur might appear a bit like Jar Jar Binks, but there's something pretty amazing about it. The Nigrosaurus had a mouth filled with nearly 500 teeth which were replaced roughly every 14 days. This sauropod had nine columns of replacement teeth underneath each active tooth, making for a pretty decent mouthful of chompers. We can't even fathom losing our teeth every 14 days only to have new ones pushed through. It's bad enough that we had to do it twice. We feel you, Nigosaurus. We feel you. Number 5. Super Seismosaurus Now, we've already mentioned the biggest dinosaur believed to have ever lived earlier on. But let us tell you a little bit more about the Seismosaurus. It lived during the late Jurassic period and was an herbivore. Can you imagine how many plants died to feed this thing? The sheer size of the Seismosaurus is nearly unbelievable, as it would take roughly 26 full-grown American men stacked on top of one another to equal the length of this superb beast. And that only accounts for length. It would take around 14 American men to equal its height. We don't even want to imagine how many could fit width-wise. It was huge, and that's all you need to know. Number 4. Oh, humans. Did you know that about 41% of people believe that dinosaurs and humans once coexisted? They actually think that our ancestors were walking around, having to watch their backs for a dinosaur attack, or that super great aunt stone dirt stick had to take into account avoiding dinosaurs on her trip to the watering hole. In reality, the last non-avian dinosaurs went extinct right around 66 million years before we ever walked the earth, leaving no chance that we ever coexisted with them. Woolly mammoths, on the other hand, we did live alongside, as well as saber-toothed cats. It's scary enough that we had to deal with them. Could you imagine if we had to watch out for dinosaurs too? Sheesh! Number 3. Chinese Medicine Some villagers in central China believed that they had found bones belonging to an ancient flying dragon and would use them in traditional medicine. In the Henan province, these bones were sold at about 25 cents a pound up until 2006. They were thought to treat many different ailments including dizziness and leg cramps and at times they were ground up and formed into a paste that was applied to help heal fractured body parts. They dug and used pieces from the skeleton for 20 years, taking around one ton of bones 
before finding out that they were, in fact, consuming a dinosaur. Number two, big ol' bones. A long time ago, like back in 1676, Robert Plot, the curator of an English museum, drew and described a bone that he believed was the thigh bone of a war elephant, or even that of a giant biblical man. It's believed that the bone he drew was the bone of a megalosaurus. And that's about all there is to it. The bone disappeared without a trace, so we can't even confirm or deny what it was or who it belonged to, but it's supposedly the first known dinosaur bone to ever be found. Number 1. Making a Comeback Ah, uh, we don't know about this one. Weren't all of the Jurassic Park movies warning enough about trying to bring back dinosaurs? Apparently, a scientist named Hans Larsen didn't get the memo, as he's trying to trigger different signals in bird embryos to produce dinosaur-like traits. So far, he's coaxed chicken embryos to grow with teeth and tails, so who knows what will happen in the future. He'd like to create new different species with new traits, new animals that can do new things, and who knows? This all may just be a part of our very own extinction plan. And we'll just leave you with that thought. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. For better.